Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the current support position Bitcoin is bouncing off of right now. I'd also like to be going a little bit more in depth in today's video into the short position that I hold on Bitcoin and how this has progressed. I really truly believe you can learn a lot from the way I have approached this trade. So make sure you pay, pay full attention, turn off all the distractions, give me your attention for this video and you will thank yourself at the end of it. We'll be covering that short trade, the current support, the next resistance. And uh, yeah, without further said or do, let's get into what we love and that is the trading of the technical analysis. So it all started off with yesterday's video. What was happening in yesterday's video, we're obviously once again, we're identifying the important support and resistance levels and the resistance was very easy to define now. What we had at this point was obviously our CC and daily confluence. Why is this such a big resistance level? Well, we have to think this is a high term time frame resistance. Why? Because we had just had the rejection, obviously from 50K, a bit of a fake out we could say, and this was the retest of the level. So this is a level that we just absolutely have to be aware of. This is classed as then a high term time frame retest of the 50k okay and let's just remind ourselves what i said in yesterday's video this is a five second clip okay so let's just play this one more time but let's now not forget the level of resistance that we have just come into and personally yes i have now taken a scope short position off of this so as i was saying in yesterday's video i had recognized for you all that level of resistance i pretty much gave that to everybody here and i also went on top of that and said yes i have taken a short position off of this and uh this is the magic here obviously posted that video while we were trading at 49650 and one hour later we got a perfect and i mean the perfect retest of that level so when you are subscribed to this channel make sure you tick the notification bell because imagine the added confidence boost you would have had to short the retest knowing i was also in that short position many people would say that is the best confluence you could get tick the notification bell because it's exactly what i was saying the trade i was in yesterday obviously the scope short position from the daily and the CC. Well, we can see how that really progressed through the day. Obviously, yeah, obviously, you know, quite a large move to the downside. And I will cover the exact support because this, we, we have got it with the exact support we're bouncing off of right now. But I just would like to go into a few minutes explaining a little bit more in depth as to what happened in this section of the chart. And this is where I truly believe you can, you really can learn something here. And what I was recognizing is that we have a Gartley on our hands. OK, so there's a few things that you need to pay attention to here. First of all, the original short that I had taken off of point C here was a scalp short position. E.g., I'm just I'm just aiming to hold it maybe for the day for a day trade type trade. OK, so I'm not envisaging to hold this as any sort of swing trade when I'm taking it originally. Then we have to react to what the charts are, you know, what the charts are, are showing us. If we continue to hold, let's say, a bullish bias, and we're seeing clear high term time frame rejections, this is not going to end well. We have to lose all biases and trade what the charts are showing us. And what I recognized at the time, this was while we were trading at about 49,200 is, you know, we clearly have a Gartley on our hands here. We bounced off the CC of B, of the CC of C, and now we are very, very likely going to be heading down for D. This is obviously posted inside of the champions group. Where I was saying very early in the day, we obviously are looking for this Gartley now. And again, another question that came in a bit later, Dan, are you still expecting lower? And I reply very simply, yes, I think we can get the Gartley at least. Obviously, what I mean by the Gartley at least is we are at least going to come down to here, if not lower. Um, and obviously, in the end, we, we, we did come down lower. But the thing that you have to remember here is the sculpt short that I originally taken was not enough size. I wanted a bigger short position because I was a little bit overexposed. So I wanted to basically increase the short position size. So the way I've done this, I feel is fairly clever. Obviously, while recognizing that we were going to be going lower, I actually closed the long. Well, the way that I, the way that I work this, and you can use this as a little bit of added benefit, I suppose, is at the time I had recognized, and I posted this in the group as well, we have been in a downtrend all day after the CC and daily rejection, but still everybody still seems so eager to try and long when there is literally no confirmation. I truly believe yesterday there was zero. There was no long positions to be had all day. Not one, not one. 
we were in a strong downtrend off of a high term time frame rejection and just 99% of people were just like long, 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 long. And it's just like, you have to take great care because that is basically a long squeeze. Now, all the longs are getting squeezed as price is pushing down. So the way that I approached this was, while we were obviously still sitting at our, 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 you know, coming down to my garlic, I entered my, well, basically I added to the short position that I was in. So I'm increasing the size, as I was saying here, you know, increasing the size of the short position. Because so I'm recognizing we're going lower. And it was pretty easy to fill the short position size that I wanted. Why? Because there was so much retail FOMO of trying to basically long the, the strong downtrends. It was, it was fairly easy to fill shorts. And as soon as I had my short fills, I just market closed my long. And well, we all know how it kind of went from here. Price did actually continue downwards. Um, and then this is the next thing that you have to bear in mind. I was obviously looking for that Gartley target at around 48,500 at the time. And as soon as we hit the Gartley target, I said to my team, that's the target hit, but I'm going to stay in my short trade for now. So I have recognized once again that, yes, we've hit the Gartley target, but I am not longing here and I am just going to stay in my short. And I obviously posted this over on Twitter where well, you can post notifications to get the notifications, not only on YouTube, but on Twitter as soon as I tweet. And, um, you know, that is, that is, I wanted us to start off with this segment and explaining this. Why? So you can truly understand how we are uh, reacting to the market, recognizing the rejections and not only recognizing the, re you know, not only recognizing, first of all, that it was resistance before it was, you know, re a real rejection, but then actually reacting to the chart, recognizing the market sentiment, recognizing the psychology that's going on here too. And then, you know, increasing positions where necessary, not worrying about, X, Y, and Z, but just really simply trading the charts, okay? And obviously we have made our way down fairly deep here to about $47,000. And I'll give you a little added alpha here. As you can see here, when we were talking about the downtrend, this was yesterday, you can see here, guess we just go for the point of for the naked point of control at $47,000. Well, what a call that was, Super Leo. As you can see here, the naked point of control literally tapped at $47,150. And I mean, it was a pretty deep, I mean, for us, if you're a scope trader, obviously this is a pretty decent bounce. We've just bounced up to $47,500. So really simple. Simply as, as you can see here from from the alpha, we have the we had that net hat that naked point of control at forty seven thousand dollars. So I think we can all agree. Yeah, we can all agree. Forty seven thousand dollars is our local local support. Does it mean it holds up for a massive bounce? No. Could this have been our bounce? Absolutely. What you have to remember is that this is more for truly believe this is this is a scope traders type of trade because you are trading basically a very 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 aggressive scope long trade so you have to be fairly cautious with this obviously if we zoom out a little bit we can start to see this cc which is coming in where we could argue this is obviously a bit of a bigger support and that's coming in at about forty six thousand dollars so it's about one thousand five hundred dollars lower than where we are now and then obviously we have, well then we have that daily all the way down at 43k so we have a few levels of support obviously let's not forget it's, it's still a support so we still have forty seven thousand dollars, which we are attempting that bounce off of right now we could wait for things such as trend change a bit of volume confirmation um you know those are those are two of the you know arguably one of the best ways of looking at it uh if should we lose this support then obviously we know for a fact that we have this cc down below us at about forty six thousand dollars and below that we obviously have the daily coming in at forty three thousand dollars so i feel the support what can we say here it is not necessarily easier to define it's just that we have a few different support levels to be aware of um obviously the resistance is is a little bit easier to define obviously still <laughs> that daily obviously massive but now we can zoom in the into the charts a little bit and really simply you know we have to agree these cc levels are working very well so if we pull our cc from the last high here down to the low that was made we can see that our intraday resistance there would be coming in at about forty eight thousand one hundred dollars so i think we've got to be aware of forty eight thousand one hundred dollars as the uh, resistance level um of our basically of our last move to the downside this is where we sort of got, start to be aware of to ourselves okay are we going to put in like a one two and come down for the third or are we actually just going to come up into here start to see actually some sort of short squeeze occurring this is this is just basically where we have to monitor the reaction and i will say this one more time ladies and gentlemen you can when you have a level in mind you do not know the volume that's going to come in here you cannot predict volume 
Yeah, so what we mean by this is you do actually have to come in and look at the reaction that's happening. You cannot predict a reaction. You actually have to wait for the reaction and, and then trade off of it. So like I was doing yesterday, yeah, I took my original short here, but I did not expect to see so many, um, you know, r random people like trying to long every single, you know, it was just crazy the amount of, you know, the long squeeze opportunity that we had. And obviously I could not predict that yesterday. I was reacting from what I was seeing. And, and actually it was pretty funny. Where, where was that post? Um, yeah, here we go. I wonder why everyone was was randomly trying along yesterday. Of course, MicroStrategy announced that they bought another three thousand nine hundred Bitcoin. So I guess that must that must, probably was the reason why everyone was so eager to long, 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 and continuously the whole day just get absolutely wrecked. Well, let's be honest, the trade was to just hold short positions. You know, not you know, not obviously taking a punt at anyone. I'm just saying that's a fact. And now, um, yeah, it brings us on to where we are now. We all know the resistance. Uh, that we have just above us here. We all know the, the larger daily that we still have, obviously, up at $50,000. We know the naked point of control that we are bouncing off of right now, and that is not really a surprise. I don't truly really believe it's a surprise. And we know the level, should we lose that naked point of control, at about $47,000, the levels that we can look in down to below us. So if you've enjoyed this update, absolutely smash that like button. What I will say, let's bring this to 3,000 likes. Try it. You can try it again. 3,000 likes on this video. And I will do a public free live stream for you, talking you through the price action on Bitcoin. That is just truly invaluable. So if you'd like that, smash the likes, share the video with your friends, make some new, make some noise for the YouTube algorithm. Show me you love this video, and I'll be happy to help you with the live stream. Uh, with that said, obviously I do have the contenders live stream tonight. So if you want to see a live stream 100%, then I got the contenders live stream tonight. That's obviously over at Chart Champions. Dot com. If you obviously want those sort of real updates as they're happening, then of course that's also for the champions at chartchampions.com. So if you want to learn what we're looking at here, if you want the little you know bonus updates and little little levels, then yeah, no, that's that's all for the group. In this public video, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day, and of course, no financial advice. <laughs> what I'm doing in this is for the education to help you learn, improve yourself and, uh, you know, become a better, more profitable and consistent trader via the education. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day and enjoy. Cheers.